Hello, welcome to Tammy Tame's blog. Today, I'd like to show you how to activate a screen pointer arrow without the use of a mouse on your mobile phone. And the phone we will be using today is Samsung. Firstly, you need to download the app. You go to your Play Store. The app I'll be reviewing today is um, it's um, screen it's touch stimulator. Yes, that's the one I'm going to be um, the one I'm going to be reviewing today. It's touch. It's called touch stimulator. So you type in the search bar touch stimulator. You see touch stimulator it says root but I'm going to explain to you how to um, to waiver the root system because I wouldn't be advising you to root your phone but this ad application excuse me this application works without um, rooting your system your your phone I wouldn't advise you to root your phone because it exposes your phone to a lot of malware and you don't know which is which, especially if you don't have antivirus. And I would completely rule it out not to because you, like I said, you're going to be exposing your phone to malware and you wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want to, you know, expose your phone to hackers and all that stuff. So I have downloaded this. But normally, instead of uninstall, it will be install that will be there. So you would install it and save it on your phone. It's going to do all that. You already know just like the way you download all of your other applications. Okay. It's already on my phone. So we'll just... Exit the phone. Okay. Exit the screen. Um, then you see it says touch stimulator you click it gives a plus sign at the top left corner you click okay this application says if you root your sis your phone you will be able to to um, use the click button you see that button on that um, pop-up screen you have your arrows pointing up down left and right and click if you rooted your phone it's going to um, look um, softer it's going to have color you would see that it is um, pressable but with the way it looks bland you can still use it but you cannot use that click button to activate that arrow to click automatically like if you click click then the arrow clicks that um that application or wherever you want to maneuver on your screen so now let's try it once i opened that screen you see a little arrow popped up in between galaxy store and docks just above galaxy store and docks but the main application the install the installation symbol is this lower right symbol with an arrow sign now how to use this you use those cursors the top the up the down the left and the right cursors now let's start to move your your arrow right you can see when we move it right it's moving you see you see you see you see then now if you want to click let's use this galaxy store 
let's use this galaxy store as an example galaxy store if you root your phone you can automatically click press click the c-i-l-k in the pop-up screen but because i didn't root my phone for um as a form of protection because we don't know which app which um app is going to invite invite excuse me is going to invite malware into your phone so instead of clicking this click it's not going to click because my phone is not rooted like i like i've said so you just you've moved the arrow galaxy store you see you're going to you can use your arrow left right top you see i'm moving it i'm using it to operate it, just like you use your your game pads now the arrow is clicking on galaxy store then manually manually because i'm going to repeat it again my phone is not rooted so that click sign is not soft so i just have to use it manually use your finger to press the galaxy store and it's going to yes it's going to open now you may say okay then why did i have to review this yes i have to review it for those that give tutorials because when you're editing your videos nobody's going to know if your arrow is working or not that arrow that arrow sign is like let's let's do this that arrow sign is like pointing when you're giving a tutorial too like you want to do a tutorial some other thing in that you want to um you want to tutor on and you want to show people what you clicked because sometimes we watch videos and we see that when we're watching these tutorials we have to rewind and rewind because we are trying to see what the person clicked yes if i click it manually it's going to have this beam of light around it to show that i clicked something but you won't notice it immediately you have to go through each line you understand sometimes some tutors are very good they're going to tell you okay i clicked on for example galaxy store then yes of course but it's more understandable very easy to grab when you're using an arrow because people can easily see the arrow moving and you're pointing let's you're pointing to to galaxy store people can easily see what you've done now let's go to collective you see people can easily see what you're doing so it's very good in that regard instead of just clicking and people are trying to focus and listen to you and you understand it's easier to focus on what you are saying so that's why I'm, I'm doing this tutorial to recommend you using this without rooting your phone. If you root your phone, it's going to be easier. You just click. But please, I, won't, I wouldn't advise that. But at the end of the day, it's your phone. You can decide what you want with it. So now let's go through the tutorial again. I'm going to close. Okay. I said one. You click play store you type touch stimulator you download the touch stimulator Once it's installed, you open the application. When you open the application, it gives a plus sign on the top left corner of your phone. Once you click that plus sign, it expands to a pop-up screen with your cursors your top bottom left right cursors you can't access the click symbol because 
your phone is not rooted. This device can work to a, to a certain degree. Excuse me. This, this um, application can work to a certain degree if you do not root your phone. And for what I need it for, for tutorials to point to what I'm doing, it's just fine. You use the cursors to move the arrow around to where you want. Just for illustration, for detailed illustration, there will be a part two. So please watch out for part two. And if you want to exit the whole arrow thing, now let's use the arrow to tutor ourselves. If you want to exit the whole screen, you use your arrow cursor, those the up, down, left and right cursors. You see where it is? The cursor is on X, symbol X, we all know it's closed. But we can't use click, we would have used click and it would have clicked that X if um, your phone is rooted. But now we're going to do it manually. But now you can you understand where I'm going to. The arrow is pointing to to what we want to do. So now you click X. It is closed. All right. Thank you for watching. And for those of you that may not pick up my accent as well as um as I feel I'm being very audible, check the description box. I'm going to give. I'm going to outline um the steps. Um, very clearly for those who didn't pick my accent very well or missed something that I've said you understand if you read the description box you'll be able to understand and correlate what I'm saying with what's in the description box because it's everything I've just said now that I'm going to put in the description box all right thank you make sure you like make sure you share and make sure you subscribe thank you very much